Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good time. So, Scar here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting. And we're flying through Progress City. That is right. Look at the tremendous amount of progress that we have achieved in the last three episodes. We've got the cactus farm, we've got the landscaping all coming together, looking really, really beautiful. Since our last episode, you can see how the cliffs are starting to emerge around the sides of the road. So, let's fly up here turn around and reveal those beautiful beautiful cliffs starting to appear look at that so much incredible detail along there we're starting to get the lights along the roads under carpet so that's making it look a little bit more finished and not so construction-esque with all the torches uh, floating around and of course look at this beautiful landscape that surrounds the skyscrapers which is making them so they're not floating anymore so you can kind of see the rhyme and the reason of why they were floating in the first place is it's able to give us way more depth and that's kind of why I always elevate most of my builds so that I can add a whole bunch of new depth to the build. So when you're at this level, the road level here, you have like a little bit of planters that built up a little bit. So the skyscrapers are a little bit higher than the road and you've got stairs that you can climb up to and get inside and all of those little things help just add so much more immersion to your builds and your designs. So. That's why they're always floating. That's why my houses and all those things. So if you're a long time scar scriber, you know that because my roller coaster project was like elevated for a while and people are like, why is it floating? But uh, once you once you see it all come together, you're like, ah, I see how it is. I see how it is. Right, cats? Right. Is that right? That's right. They, they, they said it was right. It's OK. But anyway, like if you guys are excited as I am to see so much progress in this city, hit that like button because we've got a really fun project today and that is actually going to take us outside of the city and complete some much needed progress in the nether that is right we're going to be heading in and we're going to be working on my nether tunnel from the hub to my portal and we're going to take inspiration from this road right here so what we're going to do is we're going to be inspired by the stranger of the things and we're going to create the upside down so we are going to take this road we're gonna flip it up onto the ceiling we're gonna have the lamp posts hanging down we're gonna have the trees hanging down we're gonna have skyscrapers on the sides and of course we are going to do the glass effect and we're gonna make a sky with clouds floating and it is gonna be amazing and i cannot wait to get started with that so just looking out over this road trying to kind of gain some inspiration for this particular project and i think we can do this i think it's going to be incredibly unique incredibly beautiful so let's get some supplies and head off to the nether before we head off to the nether, I want to show you this section of the landscaping because we're starting to get some of the trees developed in this area. So let's take a soft landing right here and we've got the scarred oak tree designs built into this area. Now, if you remember, we're kind of going with kind of a California style landscape like Northern California, somewhere around kind of like in the winter months because it's kind of green. So that's what we're kind of going with at the moment. And we've got the oaks installed over here and I think this is a really really nice oak design it's a little bit more realistic than traditional Minecraft oaks so I think that's looking really cool now I would like to add an additional species of tree now I'm thinking maybe an olive tree or maybe some kind of pine evergreenish tree so I'm trying to decide on which one now if you remember from our modern house tutorial videos we made a really beautiful olive tree using acacia and birch leaves which I might actually bring back because I think it could actually look fairly good in this area but anyway i want to show you guys the progress on the trees they're slow coming they take a long time to build so they're quite slow but uh yeah i think they're coming out pretty cool you might notice that i am kind of being sparing with the trees in this area because they're very well maybe a brand new skyscraper in that spot so let's jump down here to the private area of scarlandia this is so amazing that this area is now covered and nobody has to see it anymore this is kind of like the backstage of Scarlandia. Anyway, I've gotten some supplies built up. So we've gotten some black wool for the road. We've got some yellow wool for the stripes and a little bit of light blue for the clouds. And of course our street lights over here. And then we got some additional supplies and lots and lots of glass. So this is just the start of the resources that we need for this particular project, but I'm super, super happy to kind of take a break from Scarlandia today and head off into the nethers and to uh, work on a different project because like I said, we've gotten some tremendous progress out here, but uh, 
Let's take a little break and let's head into the evil lands of the nether. So we've been doing some work in the nether actually as a group to try to kind of finish off the ceilings and different things along those lines. Cub, you know that cub, that cub fan, he's always putting these signs here. He's always putting random signs in my tunnel. I, I gotta come up with one to put in his tunnel. He probably wouldn't see it because you'd just be flying by it so fast through the wormhole. Anyway, look at this. Look at this. So we removed the ceiling up here and, you know, exposed all of the bedrock up there. And we're building up these little things. And we might work on some other things that hang down I think could be really cool. Um, and this weekend on Twitch, I'm going to build the bridge that goes across here. I'm going to build it on this back side so it connects this side over here. So, yeah, the nether uh, tunnel area is starting to get finished. And don't you guys love the amount of progress that's happening? Ah, love it. Anyway, uh, let's set up actually out here would probably be a little bit more simple than setting out our supplies right in the prime project area. So we grab out a couple of these, boom and a buy them. There we go. We'll need those all set up. Awesome. Okay. So let's head inside and oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got so much to tell you guys. Cub fan gave me some super inspiration for what I'm going to do for the entrance right here. It's going to be an evil cat. That's right. Evil cat hype. Hashtag evil cat hype in the comments. I want to see it. Hashtag evil cat hype. Um, because we're gonna build an evil cat, so it's gonna be fantastic. Anyway, so this is the tunnel, and we don't have a lot of room, so the tunnel is gonna probably extend a little bit past where the actual portal is at the moment. So I think that's gonna be really, really fantastic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna expand it way up into the air and way down into the ground and off to the right and left a little bit so we have a little bit more room to play with. And I think what we might do in terms of finishing the tunnel at the end is just make it smaller and smaller and smaller so it looks like it just continues in an endless road. I think that'll be really sweet. So like I said, we'll have the street up on the ceiling, sky on the bottom. And what we need to do now is we need to carve this entire thing out. I sure do wish I had a little more room in here in terms of where the location of my portal is. I wish it was a little further back, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll do this together. It's going to be amazing. So it's time to excavate this. End of super fast build mode, and it is time to start working on this. So I've got some details in my inventory here. It's kind of oddly satisfying how it's all organized with the blue column and the yellow and then the black and that little red stripe. <laughs> I don't know why I just thought that was kind of cool. Anyway, let's head through the doorway here and we've got our giant pit. So what we're going to do is this, of course, is the space that we need to do to create the sky. And then, of course, above is where the road's going to go. So let's fly on up here and get busy. So this little pole right up at the top here, that represents the center of the build. So let's just kind of get busy here and see where it kind of takes us. So I'm thinking that the yellow stripe is going to start maybe right here. Boom, bam, bam. There we go. Looking good. And then let's space that out by another three. And we're well underway. Very nice. Awesome. So let's start on this side. And I think I'm going to do about two blocks on either side. And of course, we can always expand if necessary. Just a simple pickaxe and a little chopper and we'll take down that wall for us. I almost feel like we need just a little bit more of a spacing between these yellow blocks but that's okay we can always work on that a little bit later and isn't it awesome like i'm, I'm super excited because we not only had two episodes last week but we also had a stream and we're getting back on track which which makes me super 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 happy i almost feel like i'm making impulse's logo hi impulse <laughs> oh bye impulse <laughs> But yeah, I don't know why. When I was making this, I'm like, this brings back some memories of season four, working on Impulse's mansion, uh, doing the landscaping and stuff for him. Anyway, there we go. So that's looking fancy. I'm loving that. So next thing we're going to do is, oh, shoot, I don't have it in my inventory. So let's fly down and get it. But like I was saying, super awesome to be able to make videos again. I'm loving it. And I was happy that you guys liked our, our little talk yet last episode about, you know, when the when the good times are there, you got to appreciate them, right? You got to appreciate the good times when you are feeling good and you're not feeling cruddy or sick or hurt or anything along those lines. And that's something I'm trying like every day to appreciate is those days when you're not sick and you're not hurting, you thinking yourself, 
gotta cherish, gotta do as much as possible to take advantage of that because you know those days you're not feeling good and things along those lines and you're like, ah, oh, just wish I was feeling better, right? But then, but then, you know, you just gotta remember, you know what, when I am feeling good again, I'm not going to take that for granted. I'm going to do as much as possible. I'm going to be the best uh, version of myself that I possibly can be. There we go. And if that's, you know, being being good to other people, you know, being productive, learning new things, all those wonderful things. All right, Mr. Pigman, how are we looking? I think this is looking good. I'm quite liking it. Okay. So, I think my first light is going to go right here. I think this might be my favorite aspect of this whole thing right here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to space this out by one. So we're going to do it right in between this guy right here. Well, hello, Impulse. Welcome back. And we're going to do one block there, and then we're going to do another. So that's two, and I'm going to go with three, and then we're going to cut this out. So this is just a little bit of a, a little walkway where we have here. So eventually we can cut this all out of there. And, and you know, quiet down. Quiet down. None of that growling. <laughs> Kind of that growling. All right, there we go. And of course, I forgot another thing, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, let's grab this. I, I put way too much in my inventory, by the way. Like I am, I'm over overburdened. Oh, geez, what is going on, Scar? What, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. Hold on. Okay, there we go. All right, now we can bring this across like so, and we're going to bring that about two blocks. It's a little bit smaller than the one in the real world, but like I said, we're kind of downsizing, scaling it down a little bit. And then I'm going to put a temporary block right there. I'm going to take out my sea lantern, and I'm going to plop that right on top like that. Bam! Oh, whoops, no. I was planning on showing it a little more than that. Let's see, let me shoot back up there. There we go. Back, no, we're going back down. Okay. Here we go. One more time. Bam! There we go. That's that's a solid throw right now. No, 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 no. Hashtag scar the professional ender proler. <laughs> Here we go. Nope. Jeez. Okay, this 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 is it. Here we go. I think I'm in a good angle. I'm feeling good about this. Here we go. Okay, this is good. This is fantastic. Yep. You didn't see anything. <laughs> You guys didn't see anything. All right, so that is the light. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sneak an extra block around here like that, and that should be very similar to what we have in the overworld. And of course, we're going to have our little glass plane that connects to the lamp right there. And then we'll do this, maybe we'll do one more yellow stripe, and then we'll do another light right there. So we'll probably have three or four of those going downwards on each side. So I think that looks really, really cool. Let's see if we can cut back a little bit of our walkway here. So. Excuse me, Pigman, you're in my way. You're in my way, and I'm not forgiving you for what you did to me on that time lapse. Yeah, I'm not even gonna talk about it. No, not even going to. No. All right, there we go. Oh, that looks fantastic. Oh, that looks so good. I may consider moving the light post down one more block just to give it a little bit more, but other than that, I'm loving it. Yeah, that's fantastic. All right, so let me finish that going all the way down. We can start working on the sky. Welcome back to Science Time with Scar as we discover the opacity of glass. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out actually how to do this glass that Iskel did out there. So what you need to do is you need to have a spacing between glass blocks and the more you stack the more it creates that fog effect similar to what we have in the hub area. So what I'm trying to determine is should I put it flat down on a block or do I need a space here? So looking at it from above, I think putting it flat on the ground actually gives it a slightly better look. Now, the other thing I need to do is I need to throw down something like that and like that. And now we can see from above which one is the better look. So let's go up here up to our science pedestal and look down at them and they all look exactly the same. So the one on the left has a slight more cyan look to it than the one on the right. It's got a little lighter look. So I think what we're going to do is we're gonna go with this one. <laughs> I think we're going to go with that one. I think that's the one we're going to work with. So let's get busy with this. So I've done this design way back in the day, but I did it not as well. So what I did was I stacked all the glass together. So that mitigates the fog effect completely and put ice at the end. And it kind of created a cool look. I did it in my Scarland roller coaster project back in 
man, when did we build the Scarline roller coaster? Was that 2015? I think it was. So I just stacked, you know, light blue, cyan, um, dark blue together, all, all packed together so there wasn't that space, and then ice on top. And what I was trying to create was water. That's That, that was the general design that I was kind of going with. So that, uh, that I think that came out pretty good, to be honest. I, I think it did. Um, I think this is going to look a lot better. Of course, this is inspired by Iskull's design out in the other room over there. Um, but I think this will look pretty cool. So we're trying to get that sky effect. So I think this will be pretty sweet. So wait, wait a second. Did we decide we were going to keep this block right up against? Ah, whatever. <laughs> we're committed now. We're, we're totally committed now. So one of the ideas that I have is to take. Oh, oh, by the way, I wonder what dark blue looks like. Oh, I just thought of that. I wonder what dark blue would look like because you would be creating like a really kind of dark blue look because you would be looking, you know, straight up, you know, in like a nice blue day and you look straight up into the sky, you're going to get like a really nice, ah, uh, can we put a piece of carpet under here? <laughs> I'm so distracted. I'm like dark blue. Can we put a piece of carpet down here? Oh, we can. So we can put a light source there. All right, well, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We can always swap this out on a live stream, but I think for now, for the video, I think this is going to be super, super cool um, for a design. And I'm loving this, kind of doing something a little different today. Um, something I want to do more is like one-off builds, a little bit more like this. We haven't done a lot of those in this season, being that uh, we've <laughs> we've undertaken a lot of really big projects. You know, the Big Dig, you know, Scarlandia, giant skyscrapers that take forever to build. Um, I miss kind of like small, like one-off kind of builds like this. They were, they're fun. And uh, I want to do more of these in the future, definitely. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of get like a little segment of this built here so we can kind of look at it together and be like, is this going to be good or is this going to be bad? Now, of course, we are using my uh, glass for my texture pack. And this, of course, is the 32 by 32. So the band on the side's a little bit smaller. And of course, I've gotten rid of all those ugly little white spots in it. So it's a lot cleaner a lot nicer and I think this is gonna look fantastic there we go let's do one more row here together and then we'll kind of look from above I think we're gonna try to get at least six levels of glass of course so I think that'll be really cool so in total I think this needs to be about 12 blocks but I think it's only 11 if I remember what I counted before wait is this blue or is this cyan oh no it is like blue <laughs> I'm like wait a second in the shadows it looks like cyan to me but now it looks like blue, huh? All right, so how are we doing so far, guys? How are we doing? Ah, I'm not getting the effect that I was kind of hoping for. Hmm. I mean, it looks okay, but I'm still just not getting it 100% where I want this to really get that beautiful fog effect. Let's push this up a little bit higher. Wait, we might have nailed it at this point. Yeah, that's it. So we just need to do the two more rows. Okay, so let me finish this. I'm gonna bring this all the way down and then we can start working on some clouds together. So I've made one little change here as I was going along. So I'm putting, instead of a solid block, I'm putting carpet down, which is allowing us to bring the design down one block which will make it so it's even with the doorway so you don't have to you know step down when you come out of the hub and onto the glass so that fixes everything by just putting down some carpet and putting a piece of glass right on top of it so that's going to work absolutely fantastic i'm still trying to determine my friends if i shall put a light source under the carpet so i think we can figure that out a little bit later but i wanted to share that with you and i'll be right back after we make it to the end Stopping for a moment to try to figure out where the clouds are going to go. So I'm up here in my scientific perch once again, looking at the different distances that we can play with for clouds. So I think the clouds are going to be really cool when you're walking along. You can kind of see them. And you know what we could do in varying heights like that would that would actually be pretty cool. But looking at this from up here. I kind of feel like that lower tier, see that one like right down there, that's probably the best one because it gives it a little bit more depth into the glass. So that's looking decent. So jumping down, you can see we have, how many do we have? Let's see, it's like one, two, three or so. And then this one would be at four. So yeah, I think this level right here, and then we have an additional three blocks above that one for the design. So 
So what if we do this? We take this out here like that and we kind of play with it a little bit and then of course drop in the little blocks like that and then we can space out over here. Maybe add just a couple wispy little clouds on this side looking oh fancy yeah yeah. There we go. Beautiful. So yeah, something like that I think could actually look really, really, really cool if we do that for, you know, the cloud design throughout the design. Now, in terms of depth, you know, maybe adding another one below that, we could definitely play with that or doing, you know, another, say we did another block above that along with some extra ones over here. So say we went like that, maybe. Maybe. Seems kind of nice. So then we'll shoot up here just a little bit more. Wait, ow, that hurt. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Okay, how does that? Oh my. Ha. Huh. It's interesting. It's interesting to see the depth because it does give that little more of a puffy feel. And I like the puffy feel. Hmm. Okay, that gives me something to think about. We don't have a ton of room to play with. Like if this was a massive like field of space, we could do more with it, but we are keeping somewhat into scale to our, you know, our road up above. So We'll think about it. We'll think about it. But I think that's a good start. So we got that. Um, we've at least established that clouds go on this level. We could do a few above, but uh, let's kind of stick to these ones down here. Maybe make them just a smidge bit smaller. But uh, yeah, what do you guys think so far? How, how's that looking? Man, I think we're getting somewhere. One thing I'm a little concerned about is these walls and how we're going to theme them once we're outside of the skyscraper. So the skyscraper starts here, it rolls down to about there. What do we do in this spot? Do we just take some wool, make it blue? Maybe, we'll see. We'll figure out something together. But uh, for sure, this, this is looking good right here. Welcome back and look at this amazing floor. It truly does look like a sky. Look at the little clouds floating along. Absolutely beautiful. So what we need to decide now is how we're going to do the sides. So as you can see, we've got this, you know, nether rack over here that is throwing the illusion all the way off. So on this side, I've been doing a little test. So I have some light blue wool and some ice and I'm trying to decide which one to go with. So if you were to choose, which would you do in the comments, ice or wool? Let me know, hashtag ice, hashtag wool in the comments. I wanna know which one you guys would choose. I'm leaning towards the ice because I feel like it kind of blends in a little bit more than the wool. And I, I think that might be cool. We would have more options in terms of wool if we wanted to do, you know, more clouds off to the sides, things along those lines. But I'm leaning towards ice personally, but I wanna know from you guys. So I'm gonna look at this just a few more minutes and I'm gonna to try to make a decision. Five minutes later, I've made my decision. It's gonna be the ice. I just feel like it's superior in terms of opacity and how it kind of just washes away down at the bottom where you can barely even see it. Whereas this does look good. And like I said, we could then use, you know, maybe some white wool to create clouds off to the sides, things along those lines in these kind of upper areas. But I feel like with the opacity of the ice, that is definitely where we're gonna go. So now all I need to do is take the ice and bring it all the way around welcome back and I've come up with a few ideas for how we're going to proceed with this build but before we get to that look at this floor look at those clouds absolutely amazing like if you look at that like look at that absolutely fantastic so we've gotten our road up here and I forgot to mention before I've got the lawns on the sides looking super snazzy so what we're going to do is pretty much just facades so we're going to build down the skyscraper and they're not going to be incredibly detailed just kind of give off the impression of the skyscraper so we're going to bring them down and i kind of want them to kind of go even down into the ice a little bit so they kind of look like they're into the sky and maybe some won't even all the way make it to there just you know variety of heights and things so i'm going to work on that right now i'm just going to kind of throw together one and then from that we can then you know build all the other ones from there now one point is there, you know there's gonna be space between each of the skyscrapers so we'll probably do ice like a so in between each one and I think that will make it super awesome and yeah look at that up there oh, I love that I think that came out really cool we definitely still need to do like the gutters and the manhole covers for sure so let me start working on a template for the skyscrapers and I'll be right back 
And there we go. We've got ourselves some facades built up and ready to go. And one of the things that uh, this reminds me of is Roger Rapid Spins at Disneyland. You know, you've got like this whole upside down feel. You've got the facades. It just kind of has that vibe to it. And if you are familiar with that attraction, let me know if it reminds you of that. So it's not 100% perfect. If you were doing this, I would highly recommend building the buildings first because it's really difficult to put these things down into the glass which of course is spaced out you know there's an air block between each one there's the ice on the walls it's impossible see look right there i gotta fix that so that's more seamless things along those lines are really tough to kind of blend in i think i did pretty good on this blue building kind of blending it right into the actual you know um you know the glass there so i think that's coming out really cool so yeah so definitely more work to do along these pieces but look at those look at those clouds down there haha <laughs> so awesome anyway so i think this is looking good we've got these these things built up here i'm gonna you know cut in here and add a little bit more of the sidewalk into the building just so it feels like you know the sidewalk goes right into it. just those little small details are important also gotta add some garbage cans and some benches up there so i'm gonna start working on these walls soon so one of the things that i need to talk about is this back wall right here i'm not going to touch the back wall quite yet because this is going to be kind of the combination of the transition into the nether and we're going to kind of make it look like the nether is kind of seeping into the city kind of taking it over as like a virus if you will so i think that's going to be pretty cool and i'm going to need to gauge how much space i'm going to need for the evil cat because that's very important to have the evil cat so i think that's coming out pretty cool now as for this back end here this is a little bit more complicated because I'd really like to kind of make it so it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller as it goes along. So we're going to work on that on Twitch. So everything past this wall is going to be worked on on Twitch. So that's going to be amazing. So somehow I also kind of figure out how to incorporate the portal into a building. <laughs> so that's going to be interesting. Um, hmm. Yeah, that'll be that'll be interesting figuring that out anyway. So I think the general design of the buildings are fairly good. So I think that's nice. So we just need to kind of get inspired for a whole bunch more of these little buildings and then bring them all the way down to the end here. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope it's inspiring you. It's definitely something unique and a little bit different we're doing today. So I'm having a lot of fun. It's starting to get a little bit late, but I'm going to persevere to hopefully get this video out tomorrow. So I'm going to continue all the way down the row with some more buildings. And I'll be right back. And there we go. We've got the road up on the ceiling. We've got the sky and now the buildings installed and ready to go here in our nether tunnel. Of course, there is a lot of touch up work to do. Little details, things along those lines to get in. But I think we've got the major components all built up here. And I think it's looking really cool. So, of course, we've got our sky down below. And we've got the road up there with the lawns, the street lights, and the roads and different things like that. So these are the buildings. And this one specifically is the building that has the portal attached to it. So I made a little backstory for it. So this is like a scientific experimental building and they had a science experiment that went wrong and it's created this like warping rift of dimensions inside of it and see how it's kind of like pulling the building apart and you can see how the windows are being stretched along the sides there and I think it's kind of fun. It's kind of unique. So we took some of the colors, of course, from the portal and incorporated them into the building. So I think that's looking really cool. And uh, yeah, I think it's just kind of fun that this thing is just warping the building apart. Very mysterious. Anyway, so we got these other buildings here. I think they're all looking uh, fairly good. Now, like I said, the glass that or the ice that goes up on the sides kind of creating that, you know, that uh, the uh, the air, the sky feel. It's not perfect down here. So you can see there is a ledge right there. So I've got to figure out how to kind of cover that up. And then there's some more little pieces here and there. So these are little things that I'm going to continue to work on. Like here's another little ledge. Whereas on this one, this one's pretty seamless. Like this one, this one came out pretty good. Like that one's that's about as seamless as we've gotten so far. So I think that's really, really cool. And yeah, I don't know. This thing was really, really fun. And I hope it's inspired you guys for your own builds and maybe miniature like kind of condensed builds like this that are really fun. And uh, I think it conveys our city. So it kind of takes that into account. It brings in the kind of the mysteries of the nether being the upside down and things along those lines. I think really bring it together and make it uh, pretty cool and unique. So last thing, the back wall. 
I need help. Hashtag back wall designs, as I mentioned before, I was thinking about making it so that it got continues off into the distance, like that's totally an option. But if you have any other designs for the back wall, hashtag back wall designs. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look through those and hopefully maybe we can come up with something together. And of course, on Twitch, we're going to do these uh, additional buildings on either side, do a little bit of touch up work. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope it uh, brought you some inspiration or just a little bit of fun. And uh, yeah, so until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar and I always really appreciate you guys' time. Wait, I really goofed up my outro. <laughs> I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my video. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe because you may just become Scott for life.